back. Today we're doing another book review. Um, um, today we are reviewing this book called The One by John Mars. Um, I have never heard of this author. However, he probably is going to become one of my new favorite authors. Um, I saw on Goodreads that he writes a lot of other books um, as well and they also look really good so I am going to be diving into some of those in this coming year and doing some more reviews for those. Um, but first of all, let's talk about this one. Um, I actually took notes on this book, which is rare for me. I read so many books that um, taking notes is kind of just like not something I do. Probably something I should do because it would be helpful when looking back on books and doing reviews on them and, and whatnot. But anyway, I did take notes on this because I was so into this book and because I also wanted to kind of remember what was going on with the different couples because um, this book is like five books in one pretty much because we um, have five different couples that we're following throughout this whole book, which is really cool. Um, that's why I took notes. I wrote down all our five different couples here and I'm gonna read that to you so that I can tell you about them. Um, but I also kind of put notes for myself um, for this review so as to not give away too much about the couples so that it would still be cool for when um, you want to go out and read the book. So first off, let me uh, just say that up here it says that this is a Netflix show. Um, and I was so excited about this book that after I read it, I went on Netflix and I watched the show. Now I only watched some of it because it was so bad. <laughs> um, they pretty much completely changed every single character. They changed all of their names. They made them completely different characters. Pretty much the only reason that this book was made on Netflix was like Netflix like bought probably like the rights um, to use the storyline and then just completely changed everything about it. So I did not appreciate that and I would not suggest you watch this on Netflix ever. <laughs> um, it was horrible. Just the whole thing all around. Like, oops, sorry, that was my dog's toy. She's, she's right next to me. Let me um, give you a brief synopsis of what it is about. Um, Pretty much, there's this woman named Ellie who um, created a DNA test. I think it's a mouth swab. Yeah, uh, you swab your mouth, you send in your DNA, and you get matched with your perfect match who is also 100%, I think 100% guaranteed to be your soulmate. Um, no questions asked. And whenever you meet this person, like fireworks go off and like these tingly feelings happen and it's like no other feeling you've ever had. So you know that this person is 100% your soulmate. And then it also causes a lot of havoc in people's lives. It causes divorce and people to break up and people to get with other people. And yeah, it's pretty dramatic and crazy. Um, but I really like the concept and it really um, just hooked me from the very beginning of this book. And that is why I gave this book five stars. If I could have given it more, I would have. This is probably my favorite book of 2022. And I know I've said that before, but um, I think this is this is the one. <laughs> Get it, the one. Didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's pretty much uh, a brief synopsis of what the book is about and I'm going to get into our couples as well. So our first couple I'm gonna start off with is they start off with a man named Christopher. Um, and he is a psychopath who murders people. Um, that's pretty much all I can give you about him. However, he gets matched with a woman named Amy and she turns out to be a police officer in specifically a detective. So you could just picture how well that that one goes. <laughs> um, that couple was actually my favorite couple and now there's five couples. So out of all five, they were my favorite. Um, I could not wait to read about them. And in order to read about them, it's not like you just have like five chapters about Christopher and Amy. You have one chapter about Christopher and Amy, and then you have your next chapter about the next couple. You're, and then you have you go five more chapters up until your last couple. And then on your sixth chapter, you get to go back to Christopher and Amy. So you kind of have to wait a while to read about your favorite character. But that's something that I really liked about this because it kept you like really reading. And even though you didn't really particularly love somebody as much as another um, couple, you still had to read them before you could read about the other one. So our next couple um, was a lady named Jade and then a man named Kevin and they were matched. Um, and 
Kevin lived very far away. I think he was... I can't remember. One of them was in Australia, I believe. I think it was him. And then I think that Jade was in England. So they were very far away from each other and they were getting to know each other over like text messaging. Um, and that's pretty much all I can say about that couple without giving away too much. Um, but Jade was like um, recently divorced and she really just wanted to find her perfect match. So she was winging it with this guy online and really liked him and really wanted to get to meet him. Third couple um, was a man named Nick and a woman named Sally. Now they were not matched, um, but they went ahead and took the DNA match and got results. And Nick got results of um, being matched with a man, even though he was with Sally and he did not have any gay tendencies at all and was not in that way, in that mindset. He didn't um, feel anything towards men ever in his lifetime. He was always with a woman, so. That was kind of a really interesting narrative to break down and kind of go through with him um, and see what he did with that. Even though he was already in a relationship, I think he was actually engaged um, to this woman named Sally and she was kind of freaking out and like, oh my gosh, you should go meet your match even though it's a guy, like you should just go meet him and get it out of your system and like know that, that you're not matched with him pretty much. She was doubting the whole system. Um, next was Ellie, who is the creator of the DNA match kits and she never had a match in the whole time that she had been doing this and then finally her match um, popped up in his name. and his name was Tim and he got matched with her and she went and met him and um, they she didn't really like she was trying to figure out if she felt like those instant like connection that everybody talks about or not um, but she wasn't sure and she wasn't sure if like that was because like she was just kind of uptight and like she like knew about it or like what it was exactly but um anyway they were matching i can't really say too much about them but other than uh they got extremely exciting towards the end of the book and there's a lot of big secrets that get revealed about them that really made the book um really good so all I can say about them um they were probably my second favorite couple um and probably my second second ones that I was like I really can't wait to read about them so our last couple uh, was a woman named Mandy and a man named Richard um Mandy got matched with this man and then came to found find out something very crazy about him um and I can't really tell you too much about that either you're gonna have to read about that because it is kind of like a big thing that gets revealed um but anyway she's like determined to make this match work like no matter what and she feels this crazy connection and like it's all there for her and she just like desperately really wants a perfect match so um that is all five of our couples and that is pretty much all i can say about this book without revealing too much um but I would say don't walk, run to your nearest bookstore or library and pick up this book today and please read it because it is so good. Oh my goodness. I was so excited about this one. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole book review. Uh, there's not much more for me to say, really. If you would like to see more content from me, I post every single day on Instagram. So go check me out over there. And I do a weekly video over here on YouTube and it's every Friday. Um, I also post sporadically throughout the week. So make sure you turn your notification bell on and please hit the subscribe button so you will know when my new videos come out. And if you enjoyed hanging out today, please give this video a thumbs up. And that's all I have to say and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.